Wing Yong of the Carnegie Institution's Geophysical Laboratory is a co-author of research that for the first time allows scientists to watch nanoparticles grow from the earliest stages of their formation. Nanoparticles are the foundation of nanotechnology. It's been very difficult to watch these tiny particles be born and grow in the past because traditional techniques require that the sample be in a vacuum, and many nanoparticles are grown in a metal-conducting liquid. The breakthrough may allow researchers to control conditions under which nanoparticles are grown, which will affect a wide range of applications like solar cell technology and chemical and biological sensors. The scientists use high-energy X-rays and a fast area detector, the key components from the advanced photon source, which is operated by the Argonne National Laboratory. It is the largest X-ray source of its kind in the United States. Atoms scatter the X-rays, producing a diffraction pattern that reveals the structure of the nanoparticles. This research is the first time-resolved study of the evolution of nanoparticles from the time they are born. Nanoparticles' performance depends on their structure, composition, and size. The ultimate goal of the research is to use these new techniques to track chemical reactions as they occur under a variety of conditions, and then use that knowledge to design and make new materials for energy applications. The research is published in the journal Nano Letters. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.